crafty people. <clears throat> so this is a design team project for ASC supplies. And you're probably like, but it's mermaids because you can see that in the title. Um, I really needed to create mermaid cards because it's getting towards more towards the end of the summer. And <clears throat> I hadn't done a project for ASC supplies. I, I mentioned earlier in the month that I did ask if I could take this month off. But I was like, but I really want to create something with their papers. So I was like, I can mix mermaids and floral papers. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to show you how I did that. So first paper collection I'm going to show you with is Lovely Day. And these are the papers for Lovely Day. I think I only did one with Lovely Day. Yes. And here it is. So this paper collection has the mint, a lot of mint, greens, pinks, uh, pops of little yellow and orange. <coughs> and I pulled from that with the yellow and the kind of peach and, and orange. And I colored my mermaid to match that. It's obviously a shaker card. So there's all the shaker stuff. And I had these little flat, flat flowers in my collection. And so I just clustered those up and um, added the lace around the edge. I do not know where this mermaid came from. She's just something I have in my stash for a long, long time. And I use her a couple times a year. Well, once a year, I'll usually use her. Um, but I'm sorry, I don't know where I got her. Um, <clears throat> I did add a resin bow on top of my seam binding bow. My lace around the edge and she pops up. And there are more of those flowers kind of cascading down there. So that's card number one created with <clears throat> Lovely Day by Minte. Okay. <coughs> Our next ones are, I'm going to use Dreamer, also Minte papers. So you can see very floral. And I'm going to show you how to use this with a mermaid. Don't worry, I'm going to link everything in the description box down below for you to go check out these papers, okay? <clears throat> Ta-da! Isn't she cute? I have had her in my stash for quite a while, too. And I'm not sure where she came from, either. But I have had her skin and hair colored up for quite a while and just couldn't find the right card for her because of the position of her. But I thought, okay, I'll make her look like she's diving into that sea of sequins. <coughs> <clears throat> so all I did was add these flat flowers. Um, I think these are like recollections. I have my see my knee bow. Oh, I meant to tell you this sentiment, which is all, it's on all, every single card here, it has the same sentiment. If love was water, I'd give you the C. Um, <clears throat> I saw that somewhere, and I asked my friend if she would collage it into a sentiment for me, all scripty and scrolly, and that's what she did. So I just print that and fussy cut it out. I have my flat back bubbles from Hobby Lobby, <clears throat> my seam binding bow. And we pop up like this. And what I did was this part right here is what popped out when I cut this out. So I just cut my sentiment area to fit on that. <coughs> I'm sorry about the cough, guys. <coughs> I can't shake it. Um, here's my other card with that same collection. And that one I used a purple card stock and this one I used kind of a maroon card stock and I you know I was pulling from this pink and there's some maroon in that flower there so um you know I have my shaker and my bubbles this is a saturated canary mermaid no longer available don't know where I got those I know where I got this one but you can't get it anymore and I'm sorry guys she pops up and got a few more flowers there at the bottom. That's card number three. 
four and five are created using the Mente Celebrations. So this is like a birthday. You know, it's got cupcakes and balloons and and cake. And um, here you go. I'm going to show you how you can use this with mermaids. <clears throat> so here you go. Um, another shaker. This one's a circle, and I added some seashells on this one. There's a seashell here and here. And I love that I had this mint colored resin bow to go on top of the peach colored um, sea mining bow. <laughs> I have some lace back here, and I put one of these flowers in her hair. This is a saturated canary mermaid, another that's no longer available. <clears throat> Little lace around the edge of the card pops up on some pearl trim, and more flowers cascading down. Ugh, the glue strings always get me. It's hard to use a heat gun, guys, on, <clears throat> I will warn you right now don't use a heat gun on these cards with the acetate because you will melt it and ruin your card don't do it don't do it <clears throat> okay finally we have one more of this little gal mermaid and uh, you can really see the shells I added on this one but you can see how beautiful the floral papers are that you can um, utilize they don't have to just be flowery stuff. You can use them for mermaids. And we've got our our bubbles, our sentiment, <clears throat> our resin bow on top of our seam binding bow. And look how pretty that paper is. It's so pretty. More flowers at the bottom, and that is our final card <clears throat> for today. Now those were three different paper collections five different cards so uh, definitely go to ASC Supply she has the best prices the quickest shipping I kid you not I buy from her when I don't get a design team package I buy from her when I do get a design team package <coughs> I just love her store and she has a tons and tons and tons like 30 pages of stuff you got to check her out. Everything in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. These cards are already sold. Um, but I, I appreciate you guys watching. Happy Scrappy Day. Bye, guys.